Okay, so classroom setup day two is moving day of most of the things. So, I'm just waiting for the truck to get here. We're gonna load up the truck, head to school, unload, and continue the process. Okay, so the we're here. We're here with everything packed in the truck. Now we're gonna try to unlock the door. See you upstairs. I have my bins open. So there's a lot of materials here, science, uh, stationary kind of stuff, math, uh, got some stuff here, uh, more kind of STEM stuff, and then I'm just working on getting things kind of out and around, and this way I can see where I want to put everything. Um, yeah, that's the state of the union right now. I'll give you an update when I've got something done. Not sure what it's going to be yet though. So what I'm going to do is just show you a little bit of what I have, what I've found and how I've separated things. And it's just a day of emptying and separating things, guys. So here we are. Um, here's the status update. It's just been a lot of um, emptying out bins and boxes and such. Um, today's just an emptying out and putting things where they belong kind of day it looks like um, but the day's just started so I'm not I'm not stressed I'm not worried I'm not consumed I am just emptying boxes one step at a time if there's one thing I've learned in all the classrooms that I have uh, organized and put together and it's been a lot over the years it's just one step at a time let's tackle one task at a time and we will not get overwhelmed now I do have my books here I brought about four boxes of books Somebody's at the door. Oh, good. It's just you. I bought about four boxes of books. Um, and I don't know if you remember in my last video, I said that I was going to move and go to a new school and teach second grade. So all of my things were labeled mostly for just uh, second grade. So I don't have anything fourth grade specific labeled, especially in the book department. So I pulled a couple from the shelf uh, where I have it organized and stored today. And so now I'm just emptying them. I'm just emptying them and seeing what I have. Um, I think I picked a good four boxes of books and then just emptying bins. Um, emptying bins and putting things in smaller bins so the children can access them instead of the big Sterilite bins. So let me show you what we have so far. So here's my pile of books. So I did find my box of graphic novels. So I've got those over there. Some biographies, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Camp Confidential, Matterhorn the Brave. Um, and a couple of like reference books, like trees and things like that, um, you know, rocks, minerals, those kinds of reference books, a couple of magazines, and dork diaries, Captain Underpants, <laughs> so, okay, so some fun, some fun stuff, okay, and then here's the bin situation, so bin update, uh, stationary bin is mostly empty, so I've got all my command strips, tape, etc. A um, lot of expo markers, rulers, things like that. And then I think I had some math stuff in there that I took all out. And they're mostly on the floor. Um, you know, Judy clock, balance, big calculator. And then here I had mostly art supplies. So I've taken some of them out. Still looking for a place for some of them, but I put most, I put a lot of them over here in this area. So I've got sponges and pine cones, and this is just random stuff that you accumulate over the years pom poms, more pom poms, uh, yarn, paint. So more of that stuff will probably emerge as I keep looking through this is a stem bin so it's got all kinds of random things that i'll be looking at right now and so i think what i'm going to do is move the desk over there and maybe move it like make it like long ways like this and then have this table that i have under here for no reason i might put that back over there and this area so that the kids when they access this material they have like a space to play with it and it could also be you know like a 
table for like intervention and things like that. If I need to meet with a small group, I can meet with them over there and it'll be right next to my desk. So that's the plan, long term. But short term, <laughs> today, plan is to continue emptying out these bins and maybe get some bulletin board paper up on the walls. Oh, I, I found a way to put that up and apparently the walls are not concrete, so I will be able to drill holes if I need to. Um, that's, that's the update for now. See you soon. So, we're hungry, so we decided to take a little lunch break. So we're on our way to lunch. And uh, maybe I'll let you know what we got when we get there. We need some fuel if we're going to continue doing all this classroom setup. We are at Airport Cafe and look at this delicious chicken sandwich that I got. And... What do you have Pogi open it up for us so we can see it? Um, a Cuban burrito. burrito. Croqueta and con green. Delicious stuff to have. Okay. To let you know how good it is. And curly fries. I love this place. So what was it you said about doing bulletin boards like this that you had never done it before? Nope. Never done it how? Flat like this. Flat. Flat. In the wall. In the wall. <laughs> so yeah, a little bit different because these boards like I showed you guys before, are removable. So they hang on these little pegs. So somebody's not happy about having to put them together like this, but this is just how it goes. Not so bad, is it? It's weird. Just weird. Okay. Here's an update on the library situation. I have about eight bins full and about four more on the bottom that I'm gonna try to fill up. So I think that's how I'm going to start off the classroom library this year. Um, that'll be about the extent of it. Still have some other, but I have some more that I'll bring from home. Um, I have some others down here that'll just be put sporadically throughout the room. And we are on about the eighth attempt of this bulletin board. Yeah, because it's styrofoam, so it doesn't really stick like cork, mm -hmm. but we're just going to do our best. We're just going to do our best. We're going to try. We're going to attempt to hang it part two. Very, very gentle. It already came off. If you mess it up, it already came it's up. on you. It already came off. Look. What about if you just hold it and then I staple it while it's there? I have okay, no well, idea. Let me try to start putting it up against the wall and just tell it. And then we'll see. Then we'll just staple it back up from there. Okay? Yep. So yeah, maybe once it goes through the hole and it's hanging, then then I can stay. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. 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 But then the other one, I don't see why I should do it on the floor. Exactly. So now That's we learned. I told you to wait. Now here. Give it a Horrors. Horrors. <laughs> Understatement. Look at that. I don't think it's like 2,000 staples because all the ones that I put plus the ones. Second time around and now a third time of staples. Three rounds. Okay, we definitely figured out the way. Cut the paper to size. Hold it up to here. 
cut through and put in the, the nails, right? And then staple it once it's up on the wall. Pookie said something that was hard to work with, with better than paper was, was that it rolls up on you, right? Yeah, yeah it's not like, uh, like regular bulletin board paper that it just lays a little bit more flat. It's not as heavy either, so. Okay, so here is the results of about an hour and a half of work. An hour and 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. Thank you for being so precise. Um, these were a bear, and it's not like I haven't done them before, but wow. I remember them being a nightmare last year too. So the one on the left we think came out better because obviously that we already figured out what to do by that point. This one is not perfect, but it'll do. Once we have some stuff on it, nobody will ever notice. And we're the only ones who will uh, ever have any kind of issue with it. <laughs> so that's pretty much a wrap on day two. I know it doesn't look like a lot's been done, but a lot has been done. I'll take you around and show you a little bit of what we've done so far, which is a lot, okay? I feel like we made a major dent in this classroom today. I got some things organized over here, some rulers, some measurement cups. I showed you guys the library before. Obviously, there's still a huge mess on the floor, guys. That's okay. That's part of the process. Um, no big deal. <laughs> and then over here, I did get some stuff into bins, um, the Cuba maze, um, different stem materials, fraction bars. I'll show you all in that when we do the, the big classroom tour. Um, Legos, connects, that skull over there, we call it lease. Uh, inside joke with my class last year. And then uh, I got the snap circuits. And then I think I showed you guys this before. So all in a good day's work. Thank you guys for watching day two. I will be back tomorrow, hopefully, or the next day with day three today, tomorrow. Is actually my first official day back at work, so I'll film as much as I can, but we just have a work in classroom day, so I think I'll get the majority of the classroom, at least the walls and the supplies done tomorrow with a good full eight hours. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, like button down below. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.